So I'm going to be explaining how I made my most viral video to date, which was a cover of Cradles by Suburban. If you're wondering which video I'm talking about, I'll show it on the screen now. I posted this video on TikTok in March and it is still my most liked and viewed video to date. On TikTok it's amassed 67 million views with 10.4 million likes and on Instagram too it is still the most liked video and it's basically started my music career so I thought I would explain how I went about making it and maybe why it did so well. There's still parts of that that I don't understand but I've got to take it. <laughs> you might have seen it, you might not have seen it. I'm just going to explain how I made it. Right, now to the actual playing. So my setup, I've got a cajon, I've got a drumstick, drumstick taped to my shoe, which is just on a, a wooden panel. I've got a kick pedal on a cajon with a case on it. And then these are just drinking glasses, just normal drinking glasses. So yeah, they don't sound great. They don't sound very good, but there are notes there. They're not in any sort of order, but there are notes there. Meant to be the same glasses, but they're slightly different. This one's slightly sharper than this one. Yeah, it's not great. It's not great. Right, so to the actual song. First off is figuring out the notes. So I need to listen to the song figure out the notes and I will put them into Logic, which is the door that I use, which is Digital Audio Workstation, I think. Uh, a lot of the time, I'll just, I've got a piano app on my phone. So I'll just go on the piano app and work out the notes. I get asked a lot if I have perfect pitch and I don't have perfect pitch, I have relative pitch. I'm working on trying to attain or trying to get perfect pitch uh, through practice and I use the iPhone ping when you get a message notification. The ping of an iPhone is actually a C, so I try to use that as a reference because I hear it quite a lot. So it's a good thing that anyone wants to try they can try and use that as a reference point, have that C in their mind and then try and listen to some other noises around the house whether it's one of these. Try and figure out, try and guess the note um, and leave breaks in between so it is actually perfect pitch you're working on, not just relative pitch. I've got, got my fish bowl full of water ready for this. It's got a little crack in it, which isn't ideal. Uh, let me put this somewhere else so you can see the glasses. So this is going to be the first three notes. So the first note we need is a B flat. So all the glasses that I'll use, they have to be higher than the... <laughs> all the glasses that I use, they have to be higher than the note I actually need. Pouring water into the glasses it lowers the pitch of the note. So listen to this. Don't know where that is. So at the minute it's at a C sharp and it needs to come down to a B flat. So three semitones. Need some more water. A little bit flat now, so I've got to take some out. A bit sharp, a little bit more. There we go, so that's, that's the first note done. Then we've got to do that for the rest of them. So I'll run through the first three, and then I'll do a time lapse of the rest of them. So we need the second note to be a C sharp. At the minute it's probably in between a D and an E flat. So it's just sharp of a D at the minute and it needs to be a C sharp. So they're the first three notes. 
Fill them all up with water. I'll just do a quick time lapse. So I've done the second lot of three notes, which is F, A, C, so an F major chord. So we got. First six notes are done. Okay, so now we have all the glasses set up and they've got the right amount of water in. So that's what we're gonna be playing. That's like the build up to the chorus. Um, if you put the vocals in. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My walls are bright. It's hard to be, but that's alright. So that's the build up to the chorus. Then we've got the chorus. I'll put the notation rhythmically on the screen. So that's the pre-chorus done and the chorus rhythm. Then you've got to put the beat with it. So a very straightforward beat. So I'm using one hand, I'm not doing it to show off. It's because the left hand's gonna be on the bass in a second. B flat, F, G flat, D flat. So the chorus bit with the bass. So it's about getting the coordination right. Um, I'd start off just playing on one note if you're gonna do this at home. <laughs> and then build up to moving across because it it's quite difficult to get your brain to focus on more than one thing. Luckily, I'm able to do it just through lots of practice as a drummer. Um, I'm used to using my hands and feet and they're doing different things quite a lot. It still takes a, a lot of practice. Like Some of my videos take a few hours to even get right. But yeah, it's just a case of practicing through and getting the coordination there. And, and build it up, make it make sense in terms of the build up. So if you're gonna do anything first, start with the glasses. If we were gonna do this in different levels, I'd go level one would be So yeah, that's it all together. All I have to do now is put the pre-chorus with the chorus. That's the whole video. I'm going to put it together now for you. If you like this video, smash that. No, I'm joking. Hopefully you enjoy this video though. Um, obviously subscribing, liking, whatever, it helps me out a lot, but I'm not gonna make you do it. I released a full cover of Cradles on Spotify and all streaming services. I'll link that in the description. Um, I've actually got an original song coming out start of next month. Um, so December, I think December 10th it's coming out. So keep an eye out on my socials for that. Hope you enjoyed this video uh, and peace.